Okay, I'm Marie-Louise Plum. I run an organisation called Mental Spaghetti. Um, I work directly with mental health service users and also people with experience of fluctuating uh, mental health. I do three things really, um, and that is I promote the work of mental health service users on a blog which has a large readership. Um, I then curate exhibitions with them as well, so we show their work, it's all visual arts. Um, I also uh, work one-to-one -one with people um, and work across different projects um, such as making a memorial garden out of sculptures with other people. Um, one particular project I'm doing is in Mind, Bedfordshire, so I'm working with young people there to create a sculpture garden in memory of a young man who took his life last year. Um, and uh, I also do lots of workshops where people can drop into, so it's almost like a school type of situation in that it runs in terms. And uh, we get people coming in for printmaking courses and uh, sculpture, drawing, painting. And we'll work long term over a couple of months to make a good body of work that then people can take on and use as a portfolio for something, even if they've never practiced art before in their life. So, okay. Uh, I came here, I was invited here today by Georges to talk about Mental Spaghetti as a project. Um, it, and what we do overall, so it's not one particular thing I'm talking about, but more um, about using art to push the discussion forward about uh, mental health, good and bad mental health, also diagnosis, disorder, and the understanding of that by maybe people who never come into contact with anyone who, who've suffered from uh, mental health. So today, I'm going to talk a little about the division in the, in the camps of art and mental health um, and a sort of us versus them attitude that can sometimes come about not in any two particular sides but in a, in a variety of issues obviously when, when you're trying to further a discussion and debate um, especially collectively lots of other questions come up and it doesn't suit everyone what you're trying to do even if you feel like it's for the best uh, generally, I work on my own, but very important parts of my work is collaborating. So I will work on my own on a, pro on a particular thing for a while, getting the ideas, but then when it comes to research, it will be a co collective and collaborative um, effort. So whether that's doing a project in um, a medium secure unit in a hospital or something, if I come in as an artist, I will want to talk to all the residents there and the staff members because if they're inpatients, they're living there. So it's no good me coming in and saying, I'm going to do this art thing for you if they're not involved and they don't talk about it. Um, so that's from my part. Other collaborations happen in that I work with lots of like-minded organisations who will contact me and say, look, I've been thinking about doing this. Would you come on board for this particular piece, whether it's supporting, for example, I'm supporting a mental health and arts festival in Coventry at the moment, and I'm supporting them with um, discussions between the Bethlehem um, Gallery, Bethlehem Museum of the Mind, and the Welcome Collection. So I work collaboratively in that sense as well.